Hi there. In this video I am gonna show you, how you can create a beautiful header, for an e-commerce website, like this, and not like this. We're gonna create this header step by step, and using Elementor a premium version. Also I am gonna show you, how you can make it mobile responsive. If you want to know, how you can create a complete website using Elementor free version, and all free resources. Watch this video here. Also if you want to know how you can create an e-commerce website using free resources and Elementor free version. Watch this video here. Now let's take a look on the Elementor premium pricing. These are the different pricing plan for Elementor. Here is the price for one site, here it is for three websites. And so on. If you need to premium features to only one site, you can buy this plan over here. But if you want premium features to many of your websites, you can buy the expert plan over here, which is for 25 websites. Since it's a tutorial, so I am gonna purchase this one for single site only. Once you've made the purchase, you need to upload the plugin from your dashboard. So from your dashboard, hover on plugins and click installed plugins. Here you can see I have already installed the free version. But I am gonna upload it again along with my premium plugin. So click on add new. Now click on Upload Plugin. Now choose your file. Here you can see, it says the files already exist. So I am gonna click on Replace with Upload button. Plugin is installed. Similarly I am gonna upload the Pro plugin and install it too. Cool. Here you can see, both plugins are successfully installed. We have successfully unlocked the premium features for Elementor. Alright, now it's time to create custom header. So to do it. From the left sidebar, hover on Templates and click Theme Builder. Now from the tabs below, click on Header. Now click on Add New Header. Now name your header and click on Create Template. Elementor comes with its own premium templates, and since we purchased the plugin, we can choose from the templates below. But I am gonna create my own custom header. Same interface. Just like we used it for making other websites. Before starting, one thing I am gonna do is, disable this top bar. Cool. Now let's head back. Okay. I've added a single column over here. I am gonna make it my top bar. So I am gonna change its background color. So click on edit section and go to style tab. Now under background, change the background color. Also I want to align the text center vertically. So click on this edit column icon. And from vertical alignment, select it to center. Now all the text we put here, will be aligned vertically center. Now I am gonna drag and drop the heading widget. Now I am gonna tweak some settings for this widget. Like colors, font and stuff like that. I am gonna duplicate this column so that I can add stuff in it too.
Now for the second column, I am going to search for icon list widget. It's showing as a list by default, so change it. Change its layout to grid. I am going to remove one item from here. Because I only need two. Now you can change the text, and the icons for these two items. For login, I am going to select the user icon. And for the sign in item, I am going to select the lock icon. Now I am going to line them left. Cool. Now I am going to change the text color, fonts for both of the items real quick. I am going to link these both items to my account page. If you've watched my tutorial on, how to build an e-commerce website, you'll know that how you can create your account page. Check the description for all video links down below. All right. Top bar is all set. Now I am going to take three columns. One for logo, one for navigation menu, and one for phone number. First I am going to take site logo widget. I am going to adjust the widget real quick. A little more. Cool. This looks good. For the second column, I am going to add the navigation menu widget. I am going to align it center vertically. This one too. Great. Now I am going to change the font and colors. Also I am going to remove the hover animation. Cool. I am going to change the hover color too. This looks good. Now for the third column. First I am going to align its center vertically. Now I am going to take the icon box widget for third column. First I am going to change its alignment to left. Great. Now I am going to change the icon. I am going to take the headphone icon. Ok, now I am going to change the heading text and description text. Now I am going to adjust the spacing between the icon and these two texts. Also I am going to change the icon color.
Now I am going to change the heading text font and colors, as well as descriptions. OK. Now I am going to take three columns again. I am going to take the navigation menu widget again. But this time I'll make one change, is that. I am going to set its layout to drop down. I am going to align its center vertically too. Now I am going to change its appearance, like colors, font and stuff. Oh crap, not the background color, I am want to change the hover color. So I am going to undo this. And I am going to change the icon color, as well as change the hover color for menu. Now that's better. Alright. Now I am going to add border to bottom of this section. Now for the second column, I am going to take the search bar. I am going to make it vertically center. This widget have some cool skins. You can check it out yourself. I am going to take minimal. Awesome. Now I am going to change the background color and font real quick. You can leave it to gray color or any other color you want. I am going to go with this color. Now for the three and last column, I am going to take the cart widget. I am going to align its center. I am going to change the icon style as well. I am going to remove the subtotal as well. Now I am going to tweak some settings here. I am going to remove the border, also I am going to change the colors.
Once you're done, click on Publish. Here choose where you want to display this header. You can choose entire site, you can exclude pages. You can only show this on home page also. It's up to you how and where you want it to appear. Now let's take a look. Great. All right. Now it's time to make changes for mobile device. Click on this mobile icon here. It's really, really ugly. Whatever you change here for a mobile device wouldn't affect your PC version. You can also hide and unhide sections and columns for a specific version. First of all, I am going to change alignment. I am going to make them both center. Now if you notice, I've created two menus earlier on desktop version. And it's showing both for the mobile version as well. Which is correct. But I need only one menu. So what I am gonna do is, I am gonna go back to my desktop version. And I am gonna disable this menu for mobile version only. So to do it, click the menu widget or entire section that you want to hide. I am gonna select entire section. Go to advanced tab. Scroll down and click the Responsive tab. Now select the devices on which you want to hide that specific section or column. I am going to select Mobile because that's where I want it to hide. Same for the second section. Now you can see, it's visible for Desktop, but if I switch to Mobile version, here you can see, everything is disabled for Mobile except this top bar. I want a different kind of header for mobile. Alright, now I am gonna add two columns. And I am gonna change the width to 50 50. I am gonna take logo in first column and navigation menu in second. Also I am going to align this center vertically. Now I am going to change the fonts and colors. Now I am going to take two more columns. Also I am going to make the width to 50-50 again. Now I am going to take search bar widget. I am going to tweak some settings real quick. For the second column I am going to add a menu widget, and tweak its settings too. It all depends on you, how you want your widgets to appear. I am doing it my way. It's looking messy. I am going to adjust it real quick.
the sections that I created for mobile version, you need to disable it for PC version, otherwise it will show both versions, mobile as well as PC. And this is the final result. When you add any product in cart, you can see it here in the sidebar. And this is how it will look for a mobile device. Similarly, you can make changes for tablet versions too. Of course you can adjust the settings and placements your way. Alright, this was how you can create your own custom header using Elementor Pro. If this video helped you in any way. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later, alligator.